What's good, YouTube? My name is Dewan Lightfoot. I've been in IT for over 10 years. I've done various roles from help desk. I served in the military doing IT. I've been on desk side support, spent years on desk side support. I've been a network technician. I've been a network engineer. I've been a senior network engineer. I've been a network lead. I've been a developer advocate. When it comes to being in IT, I've seen a lot. I've done a lot. I've had a lot of fun. I made a little money. I made more money. And it's just been a real journey. But lately here on YouTube, I've been getting a lot of questions from people that are in IT but aren't reaching their goals. In other words, they don't feel successful. Now, when we talk about success, everyone has their own level of success. You can define it however you want, but wherever you are in life, when it comes to success, you have to be secure in that. Being on social media, it's easy to compare your life to others, but I heard something recently about comparison. Comparison is the thief of joy. I just wanted to preface this video with that statement. Now, let's talk about 10 reasons why you may not be successful in IT. Reason number one, you aren't taking your career serious. For me, this in my 20s specifically, I did not take my IT career serious. I was making in my 20s, what, 20, 21, $22 an hour. And for me, being from where I'm from, that was a lot of money. I was good. You know, I had a Lexus, I had a crib, I had a house, you know, I had Jordans. I was able to go out, do whatever I wanted to do, travel. I was good. I was really good. But then life happened. You know, I started having more kids and having more responsibility. I needed to make more money. But at that level, I didn't take my career serious because I was comfortable where I was. And sometimes, you know, comfort will keep you from being successful. But that's a whole nother story. So let's talk about taking your career serious. What does that look like? Well, when it comes to taking your career serious, I'm going to state it like this. If you don't take your career serious, no one else is going to take you serious. And I say that because for years I went on job interviews at the job interviews wondering why I didn't get hired. Well, it was because I didn't take my career serious. Basically, I couldn't tell exactly what I did on my job. I didn't I wasn't a part of projects. I was just going to work and going home. Um I worked hard, of course, but I just did a job. You know, being on desk side support, I was doing my job. I didn't really know there was more out there because I didn't really care. You know, I was just happy to be getting paid and live a comfortable life. And if that's you, that's okay. But if you want to be successful and you're questioning your success, question if you have taken your career serious. And if not, reevaluate that and take it serious so others can take you serious as well. Number two, you aren't educated. There's a million ways to get educated. In IT, certifications, which we'll talk about here soon, are a major part of being successful. But certifications is just one part to be in IT. There's a million different job titles in IT. And some of those, when it comes to technical certifications, you don't have to get. There's project management. There's Q&A. There's all of these different areas of tech that you could do. And getting educated in those areas can help you find where you want to go and where you want to be. Number three is a question. How many books have you read in the last 90 days? Okay, maybe that time period is too short. How many books have you read in the last year? We talk about education, but there's a mental aspect of reading and focusing your time and attention on one thing. Reading is deeper than just opening a book and looking at the pages and digesting the material. It helps you learn to focus. It helps you to be able to take a task, focus on that task, 
receive the information and then grow from it. There's a whole spiritual process in reading. In my description, you can look at all the books that I'm currently reading and the books that I have read this year. Most of them are either Python, self-help or black, you know, history books or something like that. But I'm always trying to improve and I'm always trying to grow my knowledge. So are you reading anything? What certification books are you reading? What self-help books are you reading? What spiritual books are you reading? What business books are you reading? If you want to go to that level of success that you're looking for, that you're seeking, you're going to have to put in the work. Number four, and this goes to putting in the work. How much time do you spend working on you? I'm a victim of helping everybody else and not helping myself. Maybe you are the same type of person. In order for you to get where you want to be, it's going to take some blinders and some tunnel vision. And a lot of that is painful when you have to look yourself in the mirror every day to say, I'm not good enough. I'm not where I want to be. Or you have to get up every day, four o'clock in the morning to read, lab, code, whatever you need to do just to find the time to give yourself that extra edge that you need to get to where you want to be. All of that is going to come with sacrifice and dedication to yourself. How bad do you want it? I'm not telling you to be a selfish person, but what I am saying, be selfish in your success. There's nothing wrong with that because the ones that love you are going to cheer for you when you reach your goal. And that's all that matters. Number five, you are comfortable and you are afraid of being uncomfortable. Mm. How many times in your life have you said, I don't like change? I know a ton of people that do not like change. And when it comes to climbing that level of success, when you get to ground nine, you're not going to be the same person you were on ground zero. So at some point, you got to look in the mirror and ask yourself, are you willing to? To remove those things from your character that don't need to be there. Are you willing to grow your knowledge to the next level? And that can be really uncomfortable. Are you willing to remove those people out of your life that do not encourage or support you getting to where you want to be? And that can be uncomfortable and lonely. Are you willing to spend those hours in the house studying even when there is no pandemic putting in work so you can get to where you want to be. And that can be uncomfortable telling your friends, no, that you don't want to go out, but we're talking about success here. And if you want it, you're going to have to do the work to get to where you want to be. Number six, what new skills have you learned? Being an IT professional can be stressful because technology is always changing. You can spend a year working on the latest technology. Next thing you know, that technology has moved on. So the question is, what plan do you have to constantly be improving your skills to get you to where you want to go? And I think right here, we kind of need to talk about that. When we talk about improving your skills, improving your education, you need to have a plan. Have you established that plan to improve your skills? What books do you need to improve your skills? What videos, what training class, what mentors, who to follow on social media, what blogs? All of that is a part of improving your skills. Write it down on paper because anything that's not written down on paper is just a thought. Don't talk to me about success if you ain't wrote it down. Number seven, if we're in IT, we're getting educated and we're taking classes. Now, those classes could be virtual. Those classes could be in person. Those classes could be in Udemy. Those classes could be wherever you need those classes to be. Those classes can be $10. They could be $3,000. What classes are you attending to help you improve your skills? Because some of us are visual learners. Books just aren't going to do it. So you're going to have to focus on that video. 
or you're going to have to focus in that lab. Establish the type of learner you are. Establish that plan. Attend those classes and put in that work to get to your own level of success. Number eight, are you networking? You know, the whole networking thing can be kind of cheesy. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm the type of person, I'm cool being by myself. My circle is small. I don't need a lot of friends, but I treat people how I want to be treated. And I make myself available. I'm not the type of person to call people when I need them. I'll call people that I consider friends just to check on them. This right here, what I'm doing right now, this is me getting outside of my comfort zone. Going to conferences, that's me getting outside of my comfort zone. Get outside of your comfort zone, meet people, share what you know, share the things you love, and just be genuine and you will build your own tribe. Number nine is the visual aspect of success. Everything that I've accomplished in my life, I was able to visualize it before it happened. Are you able to see yourself being successful or can you not see yourself beyond where you are now? And if that's the case, you need to get outside of your comfort zone. You need to travel. You need to get around some people that are where you want to be and have some different type of conversations and ask them how they got to where they got or just observe. I'm an observant person. I don't really need too many conversations. You can tell me, boom, boom, and I got it, picked it up. I understand how you got there. Boom, this is what I need to do. Let me see if it applies to my life. If it don't, throw it away, try it again. You know, but for you, that can't visualize success, that's a real tough one. You really got to step outside of your comfort zone to see different things. So get outside of your environment. See how people that look like you are being successful because we are out here, especially now on social media. People are sharing what they know and what they do. Number 10, you play it safe and are afraid of failure. Look, they say you don't spend money, you don't make money. I don't know if that's true. But what I do know is that if you don't take risks, you don't get rewards. That's what it is. Now, a caveat, though. Consistency is key. So whatever your plan is in life, Put in the work to get there. And that's the risk. That's the real risk is sacrificing your time, sacrificing your money, sacrificing your energy, your focus, sacrificing your relationships, sacrificing everything to get to where you want to be. That is the real risk. Are you willing to risk that? Are you afraid to fail? Are you afraid to walk in that interview and get told no? Are you afraid to get on the job and fail? Because all of that is a part of learning and a part of the journey. I fell a lot. And I'm not even bragging about my failures. Wait a minute, who brags about their failures? Nobody, nobody brags about their failures. That shit hurts, <laughs> you know? But when it comes to being successful, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. One success is all that matters. If you fail a hundred times, but that one time you're successful, it's like being in the finals and you don't miss all 20 of your shots, but you got the last shot in your hand. You release it, game, buckets. You hit the game winner. Nobody cares about the, all the times you fail. Nobody cares about all the time you missed the shot. All that matters is you showed up when it mattered. And the time that matters is the time you put in work every day to get to where you want to be. Success is yours. Are you willing to put in the work? I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to motivate you. And I'm here to support you. I thank you all for tuning in to my channel. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.